Truly disturbing. The botched execution of Lady Margaret Pole, the Countess of Salisbury. On May 27, 1541, 67 year old Lady Margaret Pole, the Countess of Salisbury, was to be executed. The woman was a member of Henry VIII's royal family. Henry's court was in turmoil. He had executed his second wife Anne Boleyn four years earlier, his third wife Jane Seymour had died, and he just divorced his fourth wife Anne of Cleves. The religious uprising was also at fever pitch. Lady Pole had been a lady in waiting to the king's first wife, Catherine of Aragon, and was made the governess to his eldest daughter, Princess Mary. Yet the Pole family had a falling out with the king after the ordeals of his wives. Lady Pole's son Reginald had acted on behalf of the king several times before the falling out, whereby Reginald was put in charge of a march on London by the Pope, Paul III, to reinstall Catholicism in London. In 1538, another of her sons, Sir Geoffrey Pole, was arrested after correspondence between him and her son Reginald had been found. Though Geoffrey was later pardoned, during his interrogation, he had claimed his brother, Lord Henry Montague, and Marquis Henry Courtenay were also privy to the correspondence from Reginald. Lady Margaret Pole was also arrested in November 1538. Their charges were treason against the King. Lady Pole, Henry Courtenay and Henry Montague were sent to trial and though all of them claimed their innocence, they were found guilty of treason. Henry Montague was executed quickly after his trial in January 1539. Lady Pole was told she could be executed at any time at the King's will. Until the moment of her execution, she was kept in the Tower of London, where she remained for two and a half years. On May 27, 1541, her hour of death had arrived. She again claimed her innocence. Margaret was dragged to the small wooden block where she was to place her head. The same block was used to execute Anne Boleyn four years earlier. She refused to place her head on the block and so had to be forced to her knees. As she struggled, the novice executioner swung the axe and missed. Instead of cleanly cutting off her head, he sliced into her shoulder. The woman got loose from the block and took off, running across the tower green. Behind her, with his axe in hand, was the executioner. Finally, after another ten blows, many striking her head, neck and shoulders, Lady Margaret Pole, the Countess of Salisbury, was decapitated. After King Henry VIII's death, Reginald was returned as the last Catholic Archbishop of Canterbury under Queen Mary's reign. Margaret was later declared a martyr and was beatified in 1886. Found etched in her tower cell wall was the following poem written by Margaret Pohl. For traitors on the block should die. I am no traitor, no, not I. My faithfulness stands fast and so. Towards the block I shall not go. Nor make one step, as you shall see. Christ in thy mercy, save thou me.